Hi, I'm You Kill I Heal. And this used to be my paintball gun. It doesn't shoot paintballs anymore. Instead, it shoots double A batteries. Double A's. Just like my paintball gun, it's fully automatic. Unlike my paintball gun, I decided to build a magazine for it. This can hold um, six to eight, six to eight double A batteries. Fits on just like this. <laughs> there we go. Fits on just like that. It is spring loaded, so I should be able to shoot it like that or like that. Obviously, this is just a prototype, and uh, well, frankly, I need some work. For instance, this is really heavy, really bulky. This thing weighs about uh, three pounds right now, so I definitely need to work on it a little bit. This thing weighs five pounds. I'll go into uh, I'll go into the major differences in a in another video. Right now, I'm actually at a park, and I'm here to test fire this thing. I, I built this, I, I put together this part last night, and I'm hoping the glue is dried by now. I actually used a, I actually got the proper glue, and it should be dried by now, so I'm going to be here test firing it. Now, because I'm at a park, I don't really have access to a... Um, to ample air supply. So what I have instead is this. It's a CO2 tank. Okay, CO2 with a regulator on it. It drops it down to about 80 psi. Should be good enough for what we need it. Alright, so I'll get this hooked up. Should just hook up like this, but yeah. Alright. I have it all hooked up. This will be um, this first, this first fire will be a dry fire. I'm not going to be putting any any uh, ammunition in there or anything in there. What I'm looking for is uh, actually three things. First, I, I, I'm I'm going to be listening for a good a good clean pop, which is what this thing should make if it sounds correct, if it works correctly. I'm also making sure that the piston doesn't get stuck inside. You can see right here. That's where the uh, piston should go. Hopefully it should go all the way up here and then go all the way back without getting stuck. I'm also looking for anything flying out of the barrel. It, it's supposed to be a dry fire, so there's supposed to be nothing coming out of the barrel. If, the do if something does come out of the barrel, depending on what it was, it could mean that it's uh, not working correctly, which means I should immediately stop test firing it, take it apart, and figure out what exactly went wrong. But, that's what I'll be doing right now. All right. All right, let's get to test firing. Eighty four PSI. First test fire. That sounded good. All right, let's do that uh, three more. Let's do that three more times before I actually before I actually put something in there. Oh, looks like it got stuck. That's not good. Wonder why it got stuck. Huh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take it apart and figure out what happened. All right, I figured out what the problem was and I think I fixed it. Let's go for a test fire take two. All right, priming it up. There we go. And test fire, take two. 
worked beautifully. Do that two more times. Perfect. Now it's time to actually shoot something. And now it's time for a live fire test. I'll be shooting one AA battery that I'll hand load into it. And I will be shooting it at my old computer case. Right there. All right. It's loaded. It's ready. Ooh. Beautiful. Don't know if you can see, but it put a little hole in it. See, right there. Almost looks like the battery kind of twisted, kind of um, turned. All right, well, nothing seems to be obviously wrong with the with the uh, gun, so let's do that two more times. I'll be hand loading in each time. And firing for the second time. Beautiful. And for the third time. Beautiful. Let's go have a look at the damage. All right, there is the damage right there. I hit it three times. You can see it has two holes right there, and I think that was the third third hit. There was no holes, and uh, here's the battery. Bottom of it's leaking and it's uh, dented. Here's another battery. Um, it's a little bit banged up, and I'm not sure where the third battery is. I don't see it anywhere. Huh? Huh? Eh? No? Well, I don't see it anywhere. Well, well, I think that was a very successful test fire. So, I gotta say my gun works. Now it's to test out. Now, let's test fire my magazine. Alright, this gun it's supposed to be fully automatic, but I don't know if the CO2 tank is up to the challenge. It, it, it needs an ample supply of air before it will fire fully automatic. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger. There's nothing loaded inside. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and uh, we'll see if it will do what I want. Get a test fire. Okay. Okay, so it's fully automatic, but it's very slow. I mean, it, it, it fired three times, I think. I didn't lift my finger off the trigger during that time, so I, I just held down the finger. I just held down the trigger. That'll be good enough for now. All right, now that I know they can fire full in uh, full automatic, now it's time to test if the feeding mechanism works. Feeding mechanism obviously being my spring-loaded my spring-loaded magazine and the piston inside. So I'm gonna aim it, aim it back at my computer and just hold down the trigger. And we'll hope that it fires each time. The moment it fires and nothing comes out, I'm going to stop it. Let's give it a test. Well, that worked. That worked very well. Not a single misfire until this thing was empty, but that's how it was designed to be. That worked beautifully. There you can see, this white part pushes the batteries up. 
I worked a lot better than I had hoped. Now it's time to have some fun. What we are looking at right now is a, I, I think it's a, um, a two foot by two foot piece of quarter inch thick plexiglass. I'm gonna destroy it with batteries. All right, I've reloaded my magazine. My gun is all primed and ready to go. Let's destroy this thing. Well, I thought it would have destroyed it. I guess not. I'm not to try something a little bit different. All right, I really want this thing destroyed, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it at point blank range, obviously full auto. I have five batteries left, so let's use them all and hopefully I destroy this thing. All right. There we go, finally destroyed it. So I guess I just had to be a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and get up there and see the damage. <laughs> As you can see, it is not thoroughly destroyed, but it is broken. So that's good enough for me. Yeah, batteries all over the place now. All of them probably leaking. And there's my computer case. As you see the batteries at a distance of, um, oh, there's my car. That's, that's probably three yards. So I was shooting three yards. It punctured some holes in there, in the uh, computer case. But it, it, no batteries went all the way through. It kind of sucked. Oh well. All right, well, I found two more batteries. So at point blank range, I'm gonna try to put a hole through my computer case. There we go, as you can clearly see my computer case. Yeah. All right. First battery is loaded. And nope, no hole. Well, the second one probably isn't gonna put a hole through the uh, computer case either, but it might put a hole through one of the fan slots. So let's destroy a fan. <laughs> well, I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. It didn't put a hole through the. It didn't put a hole through the uh, the fan cover, the fan slot, whatever it is. Oh well, that sucks. This thing's only running at 80 psi. I have another compressor. I can pump it up to 100. Hopefully, but hopefully with 100 psi, I can put a hole through my computer case. Well, till next time. I'm now out of batteries, so this concludes my test fire. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it. <laughs>